she knew she wasn't welcome and what she did instead of leaving peacefully, she tried to run somebody over, then run somebody over over there, which was me. Family speaking out tonight after what was supposed to be a peaceful funeral for their loved one ended in chaos and an arrest. It's a story we first broke to you earlier this week after 28 year old Blair Witten was charged with reckless endangerment after Fargo police say she crashed her ex boyfriend's funeral and tore through the cemetery, destroying several grave sites while police say she was trying to run over those attending the funeral. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley spoke with the family today in a story you'll only see here on Valley News Live. The family and friends of 24 year old Colin McDonald say they've been dealing with threats and harassment from his ex-girlfriend Blair Witten for at least five years now. So while what unraveled Saturday afternoon was terrifying, they say it wasn't surprising. All of a sudden I heard somebody screaming and yelling and so I came out of the tent to find this car taking off at about 50 miles an hour and just people screaming. She just ran me over. There was elderly, there was children, there was, you know, Disabled. people that weren't even here for Colin's funeral. They were people screaming. For, here for their own people and they didn't know what was going on as well. Both women say after Witten shared posts like this regarding Colin's death and funeral, the two say they alerted Fargo police asking for extra patrols the day of the funeral in case Witten showed up. I was afraid for my life. However, Fargo police say the department does not provide private security, leaving it up to those in attendance to be on high alert. You're so worried about yourself and you're so worried about his gravesite that, I don't know, you just, you don't have time to grieve because you have too much going on. Colin unexpectedly passed away in his sleep on April 24th following a minor surgery. A man they say was too smart for his own good and was always looking out for the little guy. Could never be sad, never could be mad, nothing because he'd just bring a smile right on your face. I'm gonna miss that I'm not gonna see his smiling face and his eyes again. Both adding, it's important Colin be remembered as more than the spectacle that was his burial. He was my purpose and he made me so happy. And If I could have switched places with him so him and Jerrica could have had a full life together, I'd do it in an instant. In Fargo, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. Blair Witten will be seen again in court in late July.